okay guys so today we're going to solve the problem count and say on lead code so the question says the count and say sequence is a sequence of digit strings defined by a recursive formula count and say of 1 is equal to 1 and count and say of n is the way you would say the digit string from count and say n minus 1 which is then converted into a different digit string determine how you say a digit string split it into the minimal number of groups so that each group is a contiguous section of all the same characters then for each group say the number of characters then say the character to convert the saying into a digit string replace the counts with a number of concaten with a number and concatenate every saying for example the saying of the conversion for digit string 3 uh, 3 3 2 2 2 5 1 would be 2 3s 3 2s 1 5 and 1 1 so 2 3 plus 3 2 plus 1 5 plus 1 1 in string format so concatenating them this is not add this is concatenate concatenating them would give you this Okay, given a positive integer n, return the nth term of the count and say sequence. Okay, so what the question says is that an example one also says that this is the base case n is equal to 1. Okay, so suppose if our n is 1, then we just write 1. Okay, that's the base case. Okay, now how would you pronounce this? How would you say this? So we'll say this is one one. So we have one one time. So we'll just say one one and we'll write it in the next iteration in the next level as one one. So two will be one one. When n is two, then it'll be one one. Okay. Now when n is three, then how will we pronounce this this line? We'll pronounce this as two one. Because there are two ones. Two times one is being uh, you know being printed over here. So two one. Two and then one. If n is three, I'm uh, sorry, n is four. So, in that case, this would be 1, 2, and then 1, 1. So, 1, 2, and 1, 1. And when n is 5, then we will have something like 1, 1, 1, 2, 2, 1. Okay. So, this is the sequence, guys. We have to print this sequence uh, for the given n. Okay. Now, this problem is a problem of recursion. Okay, so every recursion problem has a base case. In this case, we're given the base case as n is equal to 1 and in string format because output is we have to uh, provide in string. So if n is equal to 1, return uh, 1. Okay, now if n is not 1, so n is greater than 1. So what we do in that case is we're going to check each element. So we're going to check in this case, for example. If the two elements, the first element and the element after it, if they're same or not. Okay, so for checking that, what we'll do is we'll create a prev. So every previous element will be a self dot count and say, because this is recursion and we're calling this function, we have to add a self over here. So that calls it uh, and say of n minus one, yeah okay and we'll provide res the result as empty string and count for you know incrementing the count whenever we have more than something like this so three ones over here so for incrementing that okay so now when we're given a case where we have we have to check if there are two ones sorry not if the two elements are not the same example in the four we have one and two they're not the same so what we'll do here is we're going to Going for loop and range then of 12. Okay, and we're gonna check if I if prev of i is not equal to prev of i plus one. So if one is not equal to two, okay. So in that case, what we'll do is will append it to the result directly so res plus equals string of ct so the count is basically the count of the current element so prev i so one is our current element so the count of the current element of prev plus the current element so prev of i so this would give us one this one would give us Counting times how many ones are present. So one time one is present plus this digit one. Okay, 
I'll explain this uh, properly for going forward. Okay, and so that and we'll uh, make this count cd is equal to one again because when we go to two we don't want to increment the value to this one so it'll become two not stay one okay for this for example else cd is equal to one because cd plus equals one so if something like this is present three ones okay we won't go inside of this thing uh this you know if statement and we'll just increment one so one we have this one and the next element is also one so we increment one and the next element is also one so we'll get three ones okay now for such a case we don't want when we go to two to get three uh so ct as three okay so that's why we're making this one ct is equal to one here so when we go to a different element like two we already have a ct equal to one we start it starts from one again okay so when we have one over here and we go to two okay the ct currently is three okay when we go inside this loop, ct currently is three. So when we append it, we'll have something like three one. So we have three one appended to the list, and we don't want that when we go to two, uh, and we don't want that when we go to two, we have ct as three because the next element is also two. So we when we append it, it become four. We don't want that. That's so why making this as one again. Okay, and we do that. And the CD is one. We check if this element and the next element is same. So it's same. We have two over here. So two, two, and then one, one. Okay. So something like this. And when we have this one over here, the last element, okay, we can't check it with any element to after it. So we'll just directly append it. So like over here, we just appended one and one. So we'll just make add the statement over here. If yeah, sorry, I at the end of prayer minus one or okay and return rest okay so let me run the code yeah and submitting it okay it's submitted so i'll explain one more time with a proper example Okay, let's say we have our n as phi. Okay, so let's take n as phi and equal to phi. Okay, so now when n is phi, okay, it's not going to have a base case one. We're going to go directly into prev. Okay, now when we go into prev, we go into count and say n minus one. So we have n, we have four. Okay, when we go inside this again, we have four. Now when we go back here, we have to go inside this and we have three. When we go again inside this, we have two over here, then one. Okay. Now when we have one over here, we get this base case n is equal to one. Okay, this base case n is equal to one. Okay. Then we make a, you know, a variable which uh, which will output the result as res and a counter ct is equal to one. Okay. Now since we have only one one, we're returning one as the base case. Now in the second iteration, when n is equal to, you know, two, when we go one step beyond before that, uh, the current one, then what we'll have is we have to check. So we already have this now. Okay. I'll remove all of this. So we already have this now. Now in the second time, what will happen is when we go inside, when we check this, it's a two, it's not one. So we have to just check if this is the last element or not. In this case, it's the last element, only one, one. So we'll just append whatever we have. So res is equal to str of ct, which is one, and the prev of i, which is one. Okay, now for the third time, when we go one step before, again, the third one, third step, when n is equal to three, then when n is equal to three, then we'll have, again, we'll check this. So prev of i is equal to next element. So ct plus equal to one, this will become two. And if this becomes two, now in the last element, we'll just append what is whatever the ct is, that is two, and the prev of i, which is one. Now we go to four, step pre, uh, the previous step, which is four in recursion. Okay. Now on going into four, we'll find, uh, yeah. So this element, the previous element, and the next element are not the same. 
then we'll just directly append this as one two and then one one and the last stage when we are in the fifth one when the last you know recursion step <clears throat> we're now going inside this again uh, this loop again then yes yeah, so the previous element next time not the same so we'll just directly append this as one two sorry one one okay now going to two over here now when we go to two we check the next element these two are not the same again we'll directly append it so one two and then we'll go to this one we'll check it with the last element so the ct plus equal one which will be two okay so ct is two now we go to the next last element and now we check so it's the last element now so whatever the ct is that is two and and the prev is one so yeah so that's what you get as the output guys so yeah thanks